Welcome everybody. How are you doing today? It's so very nice to have you here. And today I wanted to speak a little bit about why do we need to notice sensations when we sit for inquiry. We just finished our three-week inquiry program and are just about to start part two where I will be teaching the Who Am I inquiry of Ramana. However, both inquiries, the Is It Okay and Who Am I, are sensation-based the way I teach them. And I wanted to speak a little bit more about why that is, why do we need to notice sensations when we do inquiry. So you all know, we all know that the mind or the mental body is very, very quick and agile. And so putting our attention on thoughts usually results in a lot of new thoughts or a lot of thinking. And especially when past is present, you know how active the mind can be. And so using thought or using the mental body as a foundation for inquiries is very unreliable because, you know, thoughts just happen very, very quickly. And unless you have some training in single-mindedness, which means focusing on single object, on a single thought, which can be done, of course, it takes a lot of time and it's a very uh, long training to be able to do that. So unless you can do that, you know, it doesn't really make sense to put your attention on, on thinking. So when we come to the emotional body, the feeling emotion, you know, even though the feeling is already a little closer to our natural state than thinking. However, as you also know, the emotional body can be very, very volatile. And so, you know, we may be able to put our attention on emotion or feeling, and that may even work for a moment. However, before we know you know, the emotional body can flare up and so take us right back into the story without an ability to actually really experience a moment of presence. So when we come to noticing the physical sensations in the body, you know, the physical sensation is much, much slower, much, much slower than your thinking, much slower than the feeling or emotion. It is still changeable, of course, it's not permanent, right? It's also going to change. However, the physical sensation is much more slower or stable or it simply takes longer before it changes. And so it provides just enough time, just enough time for the mind to have some object to settle its attention on just enough time for us to come into the moment or into presence. So noticing sensation, you know, in the practice of inquiry and in general, is really not a practice that is done for its own sake. You know, sometimes some people misunderstand and just keep going on and on and on noticing sensation. But that's really, the sensation is really the entryway to presence. You know, the stability of sensation provides just enough time for the mind to have something to focus on long enough so that we can come back to noticing our true nature to presence or come into the moment. You know, there was also in, in comments to, to some of the videos I have made, there was also a question one time. Somebody was asking, how does, uh, you know, Papaji's advice, keep quiet, don't make any effort, and the sensation-based inquiry, how does that relate? Or does it relate? Or, you know, and I want to say, you know, if you can really go with keep quiet, don't make any effort. 
And if that works and if that really takes you to presence, that's great. You know, that's wonderful. Let's just do that, right? However, when past arises and if you are not able to just sit with it, you know, so often we experience that, right? Past arises, there's, it affects your physiology. There's so much going on on the level of um, sensation, thought, feeling, emotion that just sitting is not always easy or not always possible. And in those times, I suggest inquiry and, of course, sensation-based inquiry so that the inquiry practice does not become just another thought in your mind, that it is actually experiential and that it actually takes you to presence. So in that vein, I will be teaching this Who Am I inquiry as a sensation-based inquiry this coming Sunday and the following Sunday. You can visit our website to register. And right now, because you know we don't have to even do the whole process of inquiry, but right now, or at any time when past is present, you can just slow down and take a moment and let's do it together right now. And as you are sitting here, keep your eyes open. You know, so much information for the brain and the nervous system comes through the eyes. Good, good, beautiful. And if there is a lot of activity or activation going on in your experience, take a moment to notice sensations in your body. You know, it's, it's, we are not looking for anything. It's not... We are not trying to find anything or fix or change or understand. We are just simply training our attention. Take another moment, training our attention to notice what is present on the level of sensation. Good, good, beautiful. And you know what it does almost instantaneously? It helps the nervous system to come out of that activation of that sympathetic part of the nervous system, of the active part, and move more into the parasympathetic, the more relaxed, the more, you know, easy part of the nervous system. And when that brain and the nervous system comes down like that, it's so much easier to notice presence. Good, good, beautiful. So just take another moment here. And you know, often I also say, let's, let's resource in the present. Let's help the brain even more. Let's notice, the, notice your feet on the ground. Notice your legs. Notice the weight of your body where you are sitting. Maybe your back is leaning against something. Notice that. Maybe your arms and your hands. And also just taking in the environment where you are sitting, just, you know, noticing what is here. It's really taking it in. Beautiful, beautiful. And that is, you know, especially when, when there's a lot of past or trauma past present or tendency to a lot of activation or tendency to, you know, experience a lot of thought, feeling, sensation, emotion. That can be a very helpful practice, a very helpful beginning for your ability to be here. Good, good, beautiful. So I really hope you are going to be able to remember this and practice this. And also, hopefully you can join us in this upcoming 
uh, two week intensive uh, with you know where I will be teaching the Ramana uh, Ramanas who are my inquiry and also if you like these videos if you benefit from them please like us and subscribe and share we want for more people to know about this to benefit from this as well